What's going on guys? This is Dustin Wright. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and turn on your post notifications so you know exactly when I post something new for you. Today's topic is gonna be cold calling, okay? Cold calling is one of those scary things that you know agents don't like doing, other industries don't like doing as well because it's a little bit on the harder side. And you know, people are a little angry when you talk to them on the phone, which is a lot of feedback I'm getting. Is you know, people are angry, they yell at me, I don't know what to say, my ratios aren't very good. So, let me tell you exactly what needs to be done when cold calling so you can master the first 30 seconds of your cold call. So, step one the first thing you need to do when you get somebody on that phone is mirror their energy. And let me define. You need to mirror their tonality in the way they speak. If you have a guy that answers the phone and says, hello, well, you have to kind of mirror that and have the same energy. If a guy says, hello, yes, yeah, John. Yeah, it's John. So you kind of give him the same tone he gave you. And if it's a softer spoken, you know, older lady, hello, hi, is this Pam? Then you proceed. Pam, this is the reason I'm calling. And you move forward. But that's a really, really big icebreaker when cold calling is you have to mirror the energy. It psychologically puts them at ease, letting them know that you may be an okay person to talk to. So that's something that's extremely important when starting a phone call off with this potential prospect. The next thing is you have to be very direct. So when you do mirror them, you say, hey, is this John? Is this Pam? Don't start the phone call off with this is so and so from so and so real estate and this is the reason I'm calling and I was wondering because it, it doesn't sound confident, it doesn't sound right and, and it sounds too fluffy. So the best thing to do is be direct. You mirror their energy, you be direct and you let them know that you're looking for the person you're calling because then it makes it seem as if you're a friend or someone who, who really knows the person. Or let's say you come into a situation where, you know, you call somebody's name's John. Hello, John? No, this, this isn't John. Okay, sorry, can you pass the phone to John? Just like that. Not, oh, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so real estate, I'm calling because, well, would you give the phone to John? Because we want that person that has the phone that's not John to just hand John the phone. We don't want him to talk to John prior to handing the phone, explain why you're calling. Just say, hey, can you hand the phone to John? Then hand the phone to John. Hey, John. It's just going to be a couple minutes of your time. And then that sets the standard for the phone call. I almost skipped part two, but that's what it was. It's letting them know there's a time frame. So you must tell them that you're only going to be a couple of minutes on the phone. So you match the energy. You be very direct in what you're saying. And then... You give a time frame as to when you're going to be done with this phone call because it assures them that they're not going to be on the phone that long. So that way you're able to get out what you want to say and the prospect's going to listen to you longer. So with all that being said, the last thing is to put all this together is to let them know why you're calling. I'm calling you because I have a listing down the road and I was wondering if you knew of anybody looking to buy a home. Very simple, very straightforward. Then you keep moving down the line with your questions. You know, so the first 30 seconds of your phone call, you need to do these things and make sure you practice. Don't just jump out there and start doing these things. You must practice. Guys, I hope we're all getting to 100%. I'll see you soon.